as usual between sessions, I just want to remind people of the schedule because I'm trying to stick to it and we're doing a pretty good job so far. Uh, hopefully the pace is working well for you guys. I'm not sure. Um, I think this is a, a good amount of stuff per, per person and it's working well. But anyway, so Alex is up next and then after that we've got Mosey and another Chad, etc., etc. You see the schedule here. Um, after that we've got uh, the normal disclaimers of, hey, don't do something physical if you shouldn't be. <laughs> Okay, it's up to you to your own recognizance. And then also um, be careful. Be careful and no one's out to want no one wants you to do anything that'll hurt you or hurt anybody else. Uh, again, stay on mute. Please, uh, you might want to turn off your camera, just conserve bandwidth. Again, it doesn't seem to be much of an issue, so I'll probably stop saying that after a while. Uh, pin the instructor, that way you can see who you need to be seeing, and of course that's Alex Ormazo. you find him, his name in the list, so just put a, a put the push pin mark in there and he'll be your primary view. Um, ask questions in chat, we do want to have this interactive, um, it's, a, it's very hard getting in front of people without any feedback, so the, kudos to these folks here. And then do uh, ask questions, uh, whether, whether, you know, in chat I can float them for you, or when it's time at the end and there's a blank spot, then go ahead and unmute and ask a question. We want to be real people, and then turn on closed captions so you can see. Yo, Alex, can't wait. So you can see what's happening. Uh, turn on closed captions. All right, so Alex is here. He's uh, he's got a lot of martial experience, but right now we're just working with his uh, Filipino and other anything else he, he sneaks in. He's he's done a lot of time with uh, Grandmaster Bobby Tabuada, and uh, who knows what he's going to share here today. But Alex, thank you for being here. I'm going to turn it over to you. All right, there we are. Uh, do I also need to pin my? Oh no, never mind. Does, does, uh, do I also need to pin myself so I can see it? Oh, I don't. I can't hear. You. Uh, Sorry, you should be up right now if you're talking. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I see you. Hi, Tuhon <laughs> Alex. How are you, sir? Was that Eugene? Hey. Yeah, you saw me. My All idol. Right. Uh, I don't know how to. Make my do I hit present now? <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Ty, I need I need feedback. Try it. Try it. Hit present now. All right. Yeah, this just shows yeah, your screen. screen. Um, you don't. You don't have to see yourself. I was seeing you just fine. Go ahead, you pin. You pin for me. Where did you go? Oh, he dropped off. We'll give him a second to get back in. All right, let's try this again. Are we good? I can see you. Okay, sorry, man. Here we go. <laughs> Santi, just look at the up there. Yep. All right, guys, we're gonna get rocking and rolling. So I hope you're ready to train. Uh, we're gonna be covering some some uh, old school Cebuano stick boxing. So um, it's one of those things where uh, we get inside and, and we start punching. So even though you're holding a stick, you're still gonna be punching. Uh, with your hand. So I'm going to go over some power drills that we do in Balintawak. And then we're also going to uh, explore some of the the uh, renditions that I've, that I've come up with so that we can apply these to some pad work and uh, a little bit of helmet work too. So uh, luckily I have my son with me, so I'll be able to, to uh, use him to demonstrate some of the things from today. So, all right, let's get rocking. So as always, we always start with, from our heart, you're welcome, with respect. So we're going to start with our basic form. So our basic form is uh, um, holding our stick to about two fingers from the bottom. This is all we need here. So it makes it a lot harder for someone to strip the stick from us. It maximizes the length of the stick as well. And uh, when we start our basic form, we're going to be right foot forward, stick hand in front, parallel to the ground. Stick is at a 90 degree. Ball of the back foot, nice and compact here. This is our basic form. So this is how we stand here like this. Here. So you'll notice that uh, my hand always shadows my stick. 
Uh, anytime that I'm going to be defending, I can always back it up with my hand, but I don't always want to keep it attached because I like to use this hand as well. In Balintawak, we call this the feeler and the keeler, right? So shout out to Grandmaster Bobby for that one. So uh, basic form is here, just like this. All right, so then from here, we go into semi-advanced position. So we take the thumb, we put it to our chin, and then we bring this elbow back and we pull. When we pull, we're thinking of like pulling a bow right before we release the arrow. So it's a, it's a position of torque that already has stored potential in it so that you can just rip right out from a big hit like that. So you stay nice and compact. And this is our semi-advanced position. This is what it looks like. So we're here, very tight, moving like this here. Here, this. From our semi-advanced position, we go into our change side. So this is our semi-advanced position on the change side here. So our hand is draped on the inside because, again, we like to use this to cover, trap, clip, things like that. But we also sometimes keep it low here for other purposes. But for now, we keep it here. So basic form, semi-advanced position, and the change side. So today, we're going to be working from our semi-advanced position and our change side from here. All right, so the first thing we want to do is make sure that when you're punching, that you're translating the energy from the ground up. So that means that you want to be able to pivot with your feet. So these are some of the first things that we start working on for power, just like that. So first thing we're going to do is punch, and it comes in. Uh, sen senpai, come on up, please. So we want to go into, uh, just in normal, here, punching, punching, punching. Right? So we're always constantly thinking about punching at this range, punching, 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 like that. From the punch, you can create range. So that's where if I, let's say I'm going to use his chest, for example, I can punch, and then notice how it creates the space for me to hit him, right? So come on back up. We'll stay in this area here. So if this was his head and I punch, I create space, and so now that I can rip through with my stick. All right? So that's where we're going to be headed with this. Thank you, young man. All right, so you guys follow along. I'm going to face this way like I was at the front of a class. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the cross. So we'll go cross first and then punch with the stick. So it's going to go like this. Just like that. All right, so let's count out about ten of those. Here we go, ready, punch, punch, and back. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then over here, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now we change. So we're gonna be on the change side for this round. From here, we're gonna put our left foot forward, and we're gonna punch over here like this, and bring it back. Now, as we come out, we're gonna transfer the energy through our feet as well. So it looks like this, and back, and back. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Now from here, we're gonna add our punch. So hands on the inside, punch first. Notice how my stick stays ready to go. And then from here, bang, and back. So it's gonna be one, two, and back. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back to form. All right, so now what we're going to do is introduce uh, some hook punches. So those were all straight. Now we're going to work with some hooks. So we got uppercuts and lead hooks. So we're going to do those off of our six, seven, and eight power strikes. So it looks like this. From our change side, we do a number six full power, number seven full power, and then a number eight full power. So this comes out of our level one 
strikes of 12 basic strikes, full power. So I took those three pieces and started adding our punch set into that. So number six is a thrust, but it hooks. Right behind it is gonna be my left hook. So I come here, boom, and I'm back. My number seven is going to be a seven hook with the thrust, and then I frame and I uppercut, boom, and I'm back to form. And then from here, my number eight is going to be a straight punch. So as soon as I cover, my punch comes out this way, and then I can strike low. All right, so let's get some reps in, here we go. So from your change side here, one, hook, two, uppercut, three, straight blast, boom, and cut the knees. Again, one, hook, two, uppercut, three, straight punch, take out the knees. I'll do it facing this way, ready? One, hook, two, uppercut, three, straight punch, finish strong. Again, six, hook, seven, uppercut, eight, straight punch, take out the knees. Facing the camera, ready? One, two, three, just like that. All right, a little bit more power into that, ready? One, two, three, and then again, ready? One, two, three, all right, again, ready? One, two, and three. Good, last one, here we go. Nice and slow, one, two, and three. And we're back to form. All right, awesome job, guys. What we're gonna do now is take it to some pad work because it's only cool if we get to hit things. All right, so I'm gonna pull up my- Yeah, we gotta hit it. <laughs> messages. <laughs> Eugene, I'm just trying to be handsome like you. <laughs> All right, greetings from California, cool. Check it out. Uh, who's that? Rulio, look. This is an LA shirt. California represent, shout out to uh, Brian Sloyer, FQI, Bobby Tabata. All right, so let's first start with that number six. So let's just work this pad only. Okay, slide up this a little bit. All right, so for my six here, I'm gonna drive into the pad, follow through, hook punch. This can also be a palm strike. Personally, I like slapping people. It makes them a uh, little bit more upset when they get slapped versus punched. <laughs> so it does a little bit to their psyche, uh, but that's just me. So we're gonna go ahead and, and throw our hooks right off the six, so it looks like this. Dude, kind of move with me. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Good. Change. See, everything's from this backhand here. And it goes. Good. Just like that. One more. Nice. All right, so the next one, you can just switch the pad. So the next one is now working our seven hook, seven power. And then from there, I'm going to drive my uppercut. Bang, just like that. All right, so let's put that to work. So this is now off of the semi-advanced position. So you can be up here, like Tabata style. You can be more abierto here, uh, EDC style, like Estacada Campo, some other styles. Have this come out like this, this uh, fighting posture. Totally up to you, but you're gonna thrust, hook, and then throw that uppercut. So it looks like this. Angle this a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And then this last one is going to be our straight blaster as we go to the knees. So for that, I'm going to have him hold the pad like this on his belly. Yep. So I'm just going to practice doing my number eight. So in our style of Balintu walk, we load an eight similar to a sombrada block, right? So that's all that is. So you can enter with that block and strike. But because number eight deals with attacking the legs, 
with the with the uh, with the swing. So this shot is low. This can go to the solar plexus. It can go to the bladder. It can go to the groin. It can go to the top of the hip. Anything in that area. So what I'm going to do is from here. So I'm I'm doing a little bit of a fade away, so I don't hit him with my stick. But ideally, hit, and I'm aiming for the bone, right here. Always aim for the bone on the elbow. Aim for the bone, right? And ultimately, it all leads to the head, the crystal ball, right? So here we go. Full power eight with a with a punch. So notice how I'm putting my full body into it. I want to feel what it's like to hit another human that weighs 180 pounds so that I have the proper structure behind it, the proper energy behind it. And I want to visibly see that he's being rocked, he's being moved. Those are all part of the elements of stick boxing is making sure that you have proper frame and structure behind all your strikes and that everything feels natural and solid, okay? So grab the other pad now. So then you can put it together as a set. This is your six, seven, eight with punches. So starting from the change side, here he gives me that pad, I go six. Then the other pad, seven. And then eight. Good, and back to the end. One, two, and three. Just like that. So that puts all the pieces together for us to now start playing inside. So. Take this uh, pad and replace it with a stick. All right, give it a quick minute. If you guys have some quick questions in between, I'm here for you. Yeah, Alex, had, uh, Chris had a quick question on your number six. What are you striking at uh, when you did that a couple of few minutes ago? Okay, so number six, it, I'm looking for, come this way, a couple of things. If I'm looking to strike, I'm looking to strike into the pec or sternum area or into the neck area. We're into the eye face area, right? So these are primary targets. However, the six motion can also be used to entangle the person. So for example, uh, just play a little bit here. Right here, I just used my full power six to enter. Now I can come in with my cross or my uppercut here or start working into stick grappling. So your number six can also be used just as a means, go ahead and show, yeah, ah, here, bah, here, just to clear a path for your strikes, for your, for your boxing. Number six can also be used as a clinch maneuver. So same, play a little bit here, there. And I can pull in and start working my strikes and takedowns. Working the butt end of the stick. So, uh, yeah, so that's number six can be used that way. Sevens are the same thing. So from seven, I can come in into the face of strike, or I could just use it almost like a lay on. So I can now start working my different techniques on the strike. So our number six and sevens can be used that way as well. So also our number sevens can be grappling maneuvers as well. So here, working my different strikes. And then watch, as I evade, I punch, put some in range for the end of my stick for the power. Right, so if I'm come over here, sit by. So if I'm here, and I go boom, I turn a little bit this way, boom, boom. As I push here, and stabilize, I'm gonna punch him, right in the, in the ear, in the jaw, back of the head. I'm trying to knock him out with these punches, guys. So I go boom, and that's gonna create space so that now I can hit him with the actual end of my stick for a full power shot. So I always remember, and this is something that I, I really want all of you to remember. Jim Bobby is, is a tough guy. He grew up real tough. And he always said that after a while, he got used to the sting of the stick. It would sting and, and he got used to it. But he never, ever got used to getting punched by his instructor. So that's something to think about. And, and as the more I developed, the more I realized that that's true. I can, I can get hit pretty good with a stick. But man, you get punched in the jaw or in the rib or in the bladder, something like that. And the bicep, it's just, it does a lot more damage at this range. So uh, keep that in mind. All right, so now working into our, our uppercuts off of these 
these different positions of layouts, right? So when I do my number seven and I frame this way, that is where I throw my uppercut from, boom, right? This frame can also be represented by different pressure techniques. So for example, off of this side here, as I bump, this is that same position. And now I'm open to uppercut. So let's come on this side. Here, I can uppercut here. So if this pad wasn't there, here, I'm coming through this way. And it sets up for amazing different things from arm breaks to disarms, whatever. But the idea is to enter with it, right? So if he's coming with a, you know, big power strike there and I, boom, and I come in, there's my shot. So the idea is to always use footwork to get in and get out because that's going to also allow you to manipulate the different ranges of the stick. So I get in close so I can, let me try to send the red mats. So I come in close so I can punch and depending on his movement, I won't have to move for the power shot to the head or depending on his movement, he may move a little, but not enough. So I can only hit the shaft, which is not as powerful as the tip. So then I lean back and hit. I create space with my leans, different kinds of leans here. And then again, if that's not enough, so bah, bah, he doesn't move up, then I can do what's called a release. See a big release and go boom, and do my downward circle back here. Wah, wah, just like that, All right? So come on this side. So on here, one, two, bump upward, uppercut. Wah. If I go down this way, there's my number six. If I freeze halfway in that six, this is my posture. This is my lay on. So again, from here, I lay on. There it is. So now I can do my hook, turn it inward a little bit, or I can do a straight punch, just like that. So you can practice both in one rep. So it'll look like this. We just do a basic defending counter. So I go uppercut first, and then cross, boom, or hook, right? So yeah, let's, let's, let's keep the, with the hook. So again, here, one, two. So here, uppercut, and cross, just like that again, okay? And then back out. I'm gonna do a cross on that. And then back out. See, that's the idea. To always finish with that big strike to the head. Boom. All right, let me scan. Where are we at, guys? Any questions? We got eight minutes. Very good. <laughs> the drive-by is nice. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Roland. Uh, Diego, great question. Why punch as opposed to a puna strike with the killer hand? There's, it's just preference. You could totally do what you're describing. This is just how, how I like to interpret it. So you could totally do that, my man. Absolutely. Uh, Chad Bailey, favorite was full power six to enter for boxing. Yes, my man. Perfect. Yeah. All right, super cool. So let's introduce some of the knee strikes. Let's go. Thanks, Diego. Let's go with some of the knee strikes. So from here, same thing. The platform is our six, our seven, and our eight, right? So for our six, I'm going to do an inside round knee here. So I go here, and I'm back to form. And I'm back to form. So let me borrow you. Okay. Again, this strike... This knee strike is not supposed to be debilitating. It's just supposed to create opportunities. So the opportunities come from breaking balance, uh, introducing pain, and striking them into a position, right? So if I'm here, boom, and I throw either a six or I just lay on like a six. Once I'm in here, watch. See my puño hand? I can hook this down and then, bam, take the elbow right there. Watch again. <laughs> so I'm here, boom, there, boom. Now, can I throw a hook punch at the same time? Oh yeah, so that's how you play on a higher level. You start introducing multi-level attacks at the same time. So as I lay on, I'm drawing his mind up here and that's when I hook this hand and I bring my knee in, bam! And I wanna take that elbow with me. Come this way. So again, boom, here and then there. See, I'm pulling and pushing, bam! And I take that elbow with me, all right? Any time that you punch the face or the head and you somehow have an attachment 
whether it's by grip or by hook, in this case hook, the arm tends to extend. So if you watch people in slow-mo when they get hit, there's this kind of boom, and the arm extends before it retracts. It's bah, like that. So that exploits the elbow. So if I go for my six here and I punch, boom, now I can go inside elbow and take that, or inside knee and take that elbow. All right, number seven, you just hang tight, my man. So number seven now is using it for the clinch like we were working earlier, coming in here. And I always like to fire off at least two knees. So I use my skipping knee, one, two, and I'm back. So again, full power seven, one, two, and back. Seven, one, two, and back. And then number eight is knee drops. So off of takedowns and things like that. So I'm here, full power eight, one, but look, drop, drop. Okay, so I'll show you some do that. So let's say, uh, come on, this side. So I'll just work here, strike, same pass, under. So here. One, two, come back up. Or it could be on the inside lay on here. Punch, here's six, into your double knees. And I use that for the takedown. It's a neck crank, so he's gonna go. Now, I drive, first knee, one, two, right to the face. And this goes to the groin, bang, just like that. So I'll show you that again. So here, just play a little bit. Oh, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> nice. So, putting the set together looks like this. So, from the change side, you got six power, hook, knee. You got your seven, uppercut. Hook over, one, two. Then you got your eight. Bang, groin shot. At the same time, knee drop, knee drop. Groin shot, and back. So, putting it all together, looks like this. Ooh, almost lost my Toronto hat. Facing this way. And time. Thanks, guys, for watching. A couple minutes left. Let me see if I can field some questions. Thanks, Ty. Appreciate it, sir. Thanks, Eugene. Alex, you're the best. <laughs> hey, hey, close. Thanks, Brian. Alex, I like your kicking. You you move like MC Hammer. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm too legit to quit. Too legit to quit. <laughs> well, a uh, couple of quick shout outs to uh, first to my teacher, Grandmaster Bobby Tabata. Just an amazing human. For whatever reason, God put me in the South, in your backyard. And uh, for the last 20 years, I've been one of the luckiest guys on the planet. Uh, shout out to all of my North Carolina Balintawa crew. You guys are awesome. Keep carrying the torch. To my Toronto crew up in Canada, also holding it down for Balintawa. And to my LA crew, my California crew, uh, Slaughter and them doing amazing things. And to all of the FMA community for, for sharing selflessly through this platform. And Dr. Ty for uh, having me as a guest. You guys are awesome. Peace. One love. Alex, that was great. Oh, my God, you just poured out a ton of energy on us all. Thank you so much. <laughs> my pleasure, my man. Thanks, guys. I look forward to seeing some of the other recordings. Have a blessed day. You too, sir. You too, all right. Thanks, guys.